Did you know there's a world of minerals in your phone? In fact, the one that helped make this phone vibrate just now is called tungsten. A metal extracted from wolframite, a mineral ore towering in global demand. Its high melting point and durability make it a key element in the construction of various technologies, gadgets the world can't get enough of. Made of an element found in a mineral available in abundance in East Africa. My name is Ridhima Shukla and I'm here to take you on a hunt for this mineral on this episode of Doing Business in Rwanda. Stay tuned. Only an hour drive from the capital city of Kigali stands Rwanda's most modern wolfram mine called Nakabinga. Nakabinga mine is a wolfram mine. Wolframite uh, is, 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 is the mineral that we mine from which tungsten is eventually extracted at the smelters. Where we are standing now is just the offices, workshops and then our processing facility. The mine itself is down the mountain. Um, we, we mine using tunnels into the side of the mountain where we extract the, extract the ore. First discovered and mined by the Belgians in the 1930s and later by the government of Rwanda, the Nakabinga concession has witnessed a series of developments and investments. In 2007, we came in as Tinka, as I mentioned before, and the investment we put in then was to, to, to initially open up the tunnels because the tunnels were completely closed up. Um, we put in some underground infrastructure to make it easy enough for us to extract the, 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 the mineral. Um, it was only in 2021 where our main shareholder invested an amount of $20 million into uh, Trinity, what we know as Trinity today, of which about $10 million was put into, into Nakabinga. And then, of course, to equip the mine properly, that we can do uh, semi-mechanized mining uh, on, on a larger scale. Uh, that has assisted us from uh, producing from 30 tons a month up to the current where we're looking at around about 70 tons a month of wolframite. Depending, it's, it fluctuates a lot, but we get about $23,000 per ton selling, uh, from which we, uh, we sell, like I said, we sell around about 72 tons a month, which gives us a revenue of roughly $1.2 million. Obviously, from that, we have costs, which we, which we pay. Um, we end up probably with a profit from that of about $300,000. At an average extraction rate of three tons every day, the semi-mechanized facility has come a long way from artisanal mining and plans to go fully industrial within this decade. Um, artisanal mining has been a, a huge part of Rwanda through the years, um, but we are now at a point where most of our, or all three of our operations are semi-mechanized, semi-industrialized, semi and within the next five years we foresee that we are completely uh, industrialized mines. Uh, as for Nakabingo itself, um, this year we are looking to, to, to uh, start uh, construction of a uh, sorter and processing plant. Um, which will increase our production uh, up to 30,000 tons a, a month that we feed the plant, which we are looking to, to produce about 90 to 150,000, uh, 90 to 150 tons a month. Currently, eight tunnels are operational at Nakabinga. So we are in Bubu 21, uh, 3 East. We came into Three East now, where you can see the bobcat. We're busy with the bobcat for the blasting ore for yesterday. So the blasting ore, we load with the M50 bobcat into the electrical locals with wagons, which we tra transport outside outside the mine for uh, tipping outside to clean the working place for the tr uh, drilling and blasting again. 
the, hot, um, the blood, there's two pipes. The one pipe have a green line in, it's an air pipe for compressed air for drilling. And the one pipe have a blue pipe uh, line inside, is for water. It's give, give you the different pipes. We have green is for air and the, uh, blue is for the water pipes. The, the one you saw with the wagons is electrical loco. So it's working with batteries. It's pulling eight wa uh, wagons. We, each wagon is 1.2 tons. It's 9.6 tons per time, every time they're going outside to town. So let me go and show you the vein where the people are busy mining there. And then I can explain the production to you guys there. This is what we are mining. It's called Wolframite. We work here to make a living. We first drill to break into the vein and then hammer it, which takes an hour. First of all, we extract Wolfram from Quartz vein. Quartz is a very hard lock and Wolfram is safe is a hard lock and the whole stock being sandstone. So to extract the wolf from, from that quartz, you have to do drilling and blasting. We do it by the use of jack, jack leg machine that uses the, that is driven by the air from the compressor and water just to, to decrease the dust suppression to, this, to the driller. The miners will bring the mineral from underground from the tunnels. It will come to the crushers where it will be crushed down to a certain size. Once I've got it down to a certain size, which is probably around about five millimeters uh, in size, they will take it to the, the people over there underneath the covers where they will put it in a pan and it will be panned and they will remove the, the waste material or what we imagine is the waste material and then you're just left with the, with the actual mineral that we're looking for. Once that is finished, they will take it, put it in bags and it'll go up to the weighing station uh, where these bags will be weighed and tags will be put on them. As part of OECD's commitment to maintaining a supply chain of conflict-free minerals, the Nyakabinga mine adheres to a series of strict protocols for ensuring traceability of its product. This is the first step of traceability. It's called correction. Yeah. After this step, there is other steps uh, which will follow. This is a step called collection step for the traceability. Uh, miners bring minerals and weight it. After waiting, we put tag. And after putting tag, we have to, to bring these minerals after tagging uh, in the store. So we, we start. The tag can't be removed by everyone. It's a Mibu house right to, to remove it so when the in the morning after uh, before processing i have to remove tax so that they have to process it along with traceability as per government of rwanda's mandate all mines in the nation are responsible for sustaining environmental and social objectives it is our responsibility to ensure that the mining that we do does not damage the the uh, environment and uplifts the co community at the same time. Uh, RMB, in our mining agreement, we do, we have specified and we are held accountable to ensure that the environment, at least there's improvement on the environment and that we do uh, support the community. Um, we do have 99% of our workforce is locally based around the around the concession um, and then annually we do spend quite a bit up to three to five hundred thousand dollars a year on community-based uh, projects with a working community of 1500 people the mine has no recorded incident of serious accidents credited to its 170 member safety team and with the expertise of a team of Rwandan scientists, the mine is currently extracting top grade mineral at the facility. This is mainly a mineral processing laboratory where we do test work to increase or to improve the recovery of getting the ore mineral at a saleable grade. 
Usually in street car in Rwanda, in most of the mines, they don't go for recovery of above 40. But with our introduction of mineral processing laboratory to this company, we can do test work and improve the processing up to the recovery of 74 to 75 at the cerebral grade. Upgradation of quality of minerals brings the Nakabinga mine closer to a higher price in the market. A bright example of advancement in Rwanda's mining sector in a race that has only just begun. As for the future, uh, Trinity Metals plans to, to invest $61 million in the next five years, uh, of which $21 million will be allocated to Nakabinga. The main benef beneficiaries of that $21 million will be a state-of-the-art processing plant and x-ray sorter, uh, as well as putting money into the underground infrastructure and equipment so as to expand the underground workings. We are also looking at uh, putting in another $500,000 this year into ESG. Uh, that is mainly for, for uh, a change house, for male and female change house, uh, a kitchen which will feed 1,500 people during the day, and then an early childhood development center for mothers who are working here, who don't have anywhere to go with their children. They can leave their little babies at the center and pick them up afterwards when the work has been done. The plant is going to be the, 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 the main investment. Uh, we are going to obviously upgrade the labs at Nakabingo and at, uh, other operations by putting in more modern equipment to ensure that our stu uh, mineralogy studies are done in such a way that it will benefit us in the long run and add value to the processing plant that we are putting in. The global demand for tungsten is forecasted to rise annually by 3 to 7 percent, according to the British Geological Survey. The end user industries of this metal range from aerospace, automobiles to defence and oil gas. Traditionally, Africa has been a supplier of raw minerals to the world. But with its transformation strategy for 2025, Rwanda is looking to change the narrative with new processing plants and by trading value-added products with the world. Directly, from mines to markets. This was Doing Business in Rwanda. Thank you for watching.